Hi guys, this is Microapple97, first video on iPod Touch tutorials. Um, <coughs> and in this video I'll show you how to modify and combine winterboard themes. So first, you obviously need to be jailbroken. And if you're not, just look right below this video and I'll give you instructions on how to do so. Um, this is a second generation iPod Touch 8 gig MC model. And so, what I'm showing you how to do today is how to combine these themes in Winterboard. So you have these high tech themes. And what you're going to need is Winterboard and iFile. And once you have, once you're onto iFile, um, you're going to want to go to you're going to want to go to your themes, which is at var. The themes are at var stash var slash stash slash themes dot L O C F N three. Okay. So now once you've gotten into the themes, you're gonna just scroll down to the theme you want to edit. Let's do a tech clover. So you scroll down to the theme you want to edit edit. And now this will show you everything that the theme adds to your iPod. So, bundles, there's the different um, bundles for different apps, account in the settings, it'll show different icons, and if you click on the icons folder, this will show you all the icons that the theme replaces. So, iPod, Dollar, iTunes, all those. And so now, what you do is you can delete and rearrange files that you want to be gone. So, since there's not as much icons as I want for this theme, I made an edit. I just called it High Tech Clover User Edit. And then what I did is I deleted the icons folder on the original iTech Clover theme. It includes it includes this icon folder right here, and I just deleted that on my newer theme. I also made some other mods. Um, let's see, not bundles. UI images. Oh, that. And the UI sounds, it had sounds for when you receive and send mail, but I didn't like those, so I deleted them. But I still have, I still have these sounds. So these sounds for battery and everything. So I kept those. Doc, I kept the same doc. I did delete some background images. I wanted to keep my background black. Once you edit those files, um, you can come into Winterboard. And as long as you keep your new edited themes inside that themes file, then they'll show up in Winterboard. And so there's mine. High tech rave up user dot dot dot. That's one of my themes that I edited, and so I have that activated right now. And normally, with the regular high tech rave up theme, these icons will all be different, but since the icons, not all the icons were included, um, 
I decided to delete the icons folder on there. But I still get this cool blue slider down here. And when I open up apps, it shows the uh the title of the app as it opens. So anyways, you can edit them. You can also add things to each other. So if I wanted, I could go inside iFile and I could combine a few themes into one so that when you activate that theme, it'll activate a few different things. For, instant, for instance, uh, the glass cart um, icons, the clear icons, I could add those to this theme and make it so I still have part of a high-tech rave up, but I also have part of glass cart. So for instance, these are the glass art icons. If I if I copy these and put them let's make a new folder. And I'll call it High tech. Okay. Unless you create the new folder. Um, okay, glass part. High tech. So once you've found a new folder, you can paste. Okay. Now that that's done copying, you can go into other themes. And so I'm going to copy everything else in this theme and combine it with the, it, with the, uh, with the new theme I just made, I've just been making. And also, on this new theme you're making, you have to, uh... You have to end it with dot... theme. Just like that. So now it's glass art high tech. Oops. Glass art high tech dot theme. Okay. So once you've done that, you have all your files in here, everything you want. You can exit our file and go into Winterboard. And your new theme will be right there. So now I'll just click on it to activate it. And respring. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay. Um now my iPod is done respring and the theme should be active. Now, see I have the glass bar icons, the clear icons, except for some of them which aren't included in the theme. Um, but I still have this blue slider that I had before. When I open them up, it still does this. And it still has that blue base theme, the blue dock, the blue dock right there too. So, and that's how you modify and combine themes in Winterboard. Thanks. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Somebody call 911. Shotty fire burning on the dance floor. Whoa.